Welcome everybody. My name is Erica Madison. I'm a Dorchester resident. I live down the street in the Ashmont neighborhood and I'm pleased to welcome you here tonight to Homestead Bakery and Cafe located in Fields Corner, Dorchester. And I really look at the website as um, a news site for the people and by the people. And so it's an exciting opportunity for people to contribute information, stories, things that they're concerned about, interested in, um, either writing a piece on their own or sharing ideas with Juan and his team so that they can maybe write a piece about it. Um, we want to make sure that it's really inclusive and that it's multicultural and reflective of what Dorchester is because there are so many different languages, ethnicities, nationalities um, represented in Dorchester and so we want to make sure that the website reflects that. Um, thanks so much to everybody for being here for the launch and thank you to Juan for choosing Dorchester as, as the next location to do um, this website. So over to Juan. Well, thank you for your assistance. Normally when I do a speech, I do it in Spanish, so I don't need to read anything because I have more, you know, I feel more that I can share more of my passion. But in this case, I'm gonna read what I wrote. It's gonna be easy for me to transmit you the message. Okay, uh, first of all, I want to, well, say to everybody, happy uh, St. Patrick's Day. Today uh, is a very important uh, holiday for Boston, and I think that is especially for this area, where I, where I have learned uh, the South and, and Dorchester. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Erica Mattison. She, ha she has been a, a great uh, support for, for us. I, I want to thank her about uh, for her collaboration and solidarity. Uh, since the first time I told her about the idea of making Comunica's project in Dorchester. I want to thank also Elisa, Vivian and Jack for their solidarity, giving us this beautiful space today. And, and thanks everyone for being here. Uh, today I just want to tell you what is Comunica's foundation and what is the Dorchester Post uh, after the brief speech uh, I'm going to show you the website, and, or you can also, you know, check in your cell phone because it's already uh, live. So uh, this is a great step. Uh, this, this is not here, but I want to tell you that this is a great step uh, for me uh, as a person. But I think that is it's more important for for the community of Dorchester because we are going to serve the community with all our hearts. Okay, so. The Communicas Foundation is a small but high impacting nonprofit organization that started more than eight years ago on the neighborhood on the neighborhood where I grew up in Venezuela. So yeah, this is starting Venezuela in my own uh, neighborhood. Uh, now as an immigrant, this is part of my efforts to contribute to my new country, the United States of America. We develop citizen journalism and neighborhood newspapers framed in four principles. Direct democracy, freedom of speech, citizen participation, and human rights. Doing always our best efforts to protect neighbors' interests. We are with all neighbors. Our efforts are not for the Venezuelan community or the Latin American community or any other specific community, but with all neighbors, regardless ethnicity, race, religion, or gender. Our vision is that citizens can build a better democracy from their neighborhoods. Our mission is to support that building process in order to have a better, happier, and more fair global society. We believe that Thanks to the free internet, a new world is possible if neighbors get involved and exercise the demo their democracy beyond the vote. In this process of shaping a new world from the neighborhoods, the Comunicas Foundation will support neighborhoods, neighbors to raise their own narrative and information. So that's, well, my quickest explanation about Comunicas. I'm talking about and focusing on Dorchester. 
uh, as you may know, and that's probably the reason that you are here, we are launching today officially the newspaper for Dorchester. The name is the, the, the Dorchester Post. It's a digital newspaper to serve the community of Dorchester, Massachusetts. In this newspaper, we will support and publish information from neighbors, community organizations, churches, representatives, or business that are doing something good for the neighborhood. We will focus our narrative in Dorchester and on the interest of the neighbors. But to make it great, we will need your participation. That's the most important part of all this, is that we are not a, like the regular newspaper. We want all our neighbors to participate with us because in the end, it's, it's much more easier to have a, a news organization, non-profit, a, like a, a real non-profit with a, a real vocation for the neighbors if the neighbors understand that what they are saying, what, where, what the problems that are um, um, facing them, the issues that they uh, see every day, they can reflect it, they can inform about that. And not only inform, because the information, as you may know, the media frame the society and create a balance. So with the information will be the first step in order to do then action and to exercise the, 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 the direct democracy that is far beyond only to vote. Okay. Uh, well, I'm glad to, I'm glad to inform that we officially start and we are already online. The newspaper website is dorchesterpost.com. You can check right now in, in your in your cell phone. Uh, our Twitter account is Dorchester Post at Dorchester Post, and the Facebook page is the Dorchester Post. Uh, please check it out. Follow us and start collaborating. If you have any questions, please feel free to talk with me after this quick speech that I already done. Okay, great.